And the big stories live here, right here on Plus TV Africa. And you're watching Tea Time, where the really big entertainment stories live. Okay, so we're bringing you the hottest entertainment stories this afternoon. Um, I'm Tukumbo Taiwo, and uh, yes, my colleagues on set are here. Yes, they're here to do justice to all of the stories uh, that we've got. We've got Super Slayer, Ore Ajewole, and uh, Super Hyper Ife Oshinke. Hi, guys. <laughs> Super Slayer, I'll take it. I'll yes. tell LC. <laughs> so because he calls LC the Slayer. Why can't so we you both are be? a super slayer. Okay. And then when LC turns with her new tan, she'll be like she'll super, super. No, she'll become she'll go back to Slayer. Oops. Ignore exactly. I'm <laughs> ignoring him. <laughs> oh, ah. but this is how you do. LC must be close to most here of this. <laughs> <laughs> You're blushing on my behalf. I, am. I, I really am. But, you, know, you cannot steal my joy or my shine right no, now. No, yeah, you're super slayer. <laughs> Wakanda forever. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Yes. Super You're really enjoying the accolades. You know. Yes, but you do, you you are slaying though. You know, tie high, slate, sparkle. Uh, oh, I'm come a tie high girl. Oh, any day. Way to go. Way to go. <laughs> All right. Which one is tie high? The one I know. I thought you were talking about tie. <laughs> oh, he, don't mind him. He's. Dry. I have a very dry sense of humor sometimes. Don't mind yeah. him. He's, yeah. Let's well, go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ah, yeah. Oh, you still haven't gotten it, or it's that low. It's like, wow, that happened. Mm -hmm. that, that's. I'm trying to recover from that. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Can we get the paramedics, please? <laughs> oh my goodness. I think we should move on to our stories, honestly. All right, so uh, what are we talking about first? Let's talk about uh, blackface and um, two-face. Should we start with that? Yes. Okay, all right. So who wants to go first? Okay. <laughs> you know, what? I feel that blackface is just going on and on and on, and he's just doing this, and I just feel like telling him, Is that Shut war with himself? Up. Sorry? Is that war with himself? With himself. Yeah, you know, I heard someone like... ask, um, have they checked blackface? Is, it men is he <laughs> mentally stable? Mm -hmm. And then the person was concerned, out of concern. Because yeah. like, how can you be beefing somebody for more than a decade? And it's so I... much. It's like, let it rest. Just let it rest. Let it go. African and Queen. Then, like, I, mean, like, I can't even uh... remember all the lyrics of African Queen anymore. And you still want to know about it. <laughs> and understand? then for 10 years as well. It just reminds me so much of, you know, um, Meghan Markle's dad. He's like, just let it go. He's like, why right. bring it up all over again? And then you use the media, you know, to yeah, like... Yeah, um, reality. To... You know, they just printed rules. I pity you. They will block you. <laughs> I have you know for information that you know I actually well, I'm drink tea with a queen. Right. Hello. Okay. So, yeah. so you know that's time. how we roll exactly. <laughs> no, the queen is anyway. Of back to, to <laughs> back to the main story. Yeah. yeah so, so what I was saying is that you know I think you should let things go. For look the the volume of poison and venom in the you know in this um, hate track you know I would say is way way too much and actually tells you just how much upset blackface still is, you know, despite this, the fact that these things and have happened over time. Of, um, allegations. allegations. And, um, That's think what I'm saying. He's stemming out of a place. For defamation right now. Uh, yes, no. but I think he will not even bother because this has well, been going on for really no said he was going to sue him for, for 50, 50 million, million that time. Then, yeah, yeah but, so and I think he does died he down. Think he's going to, <laughs> does he have 5 million? <laughs> Oops. So there's no Oops. point suing him for that. <laughs> and, but honest, and then, did you listen to the song? I did. And you know what I think is that, I think that Right, we're all kind of against him, mm -hmm. and we're thinking this guy has a problem and all. But there might be some truth to what he's saying. No truth doubt. or no, I feel or, like or not? Something no, or really like, no deep, doubt. you know, going happened. On. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that he's just not able. But to But after past ten it. years, though, or uh, would you not let sleeping dogs lie? Uh, well, You've not been able to ascertain um, what the truth oh, is all that while. If somebody, this case if somebody from... leaves you high and dry, at yeah, the altar, get over it and no, dust yourself off. No, ten years later, you're not over. No, no. <laughs> what I'm saying, in this case, what I'm saying onset, that you should like dust it over. You guys would know that mm -hmm. Two Face has settled mm -hmm. with him in the past. Yeah, in the past. Yes. Then he came back. Back again. for more. Yeah. So it's like he wants more. Yeah, no, like, of this course. Is... So that's what I'm saying. That is greed talking. It's not yeah. normalcy anymore. I think, it's, I think it's it's a lot of things actually. Mm -hmm. Apart from aside from greed, mm -hmm. I also think that he's 
an attention seeker. seeker yeah. So once the attention dies down, mm -hmm. he, he comes to, to yeah, exactly. Yeah, he and then I think he gets the only way he can stay relevant. Stay relevant. The only and way, then really. I think he also gets upset every time you know um, Two -Face, um, shines yeah, or shine, takes his yeah. shine. You know, Not takes his shine. Exactly. I think Not any time he sees Two Face, Two Face successful. Mm -hmm. You know, he also uh, accused Two Face. That's what I'm saying. That that's really really coming back from a you know from a very very bad place of heart you know where you're still having so much that yeah. you're actually you know um making things up about somebody that is not actually true you know even if you're making it up the fact that you're exposing up, yeah. the dirty secrets yeah, yeah and that was someone that was your friend because they said 201 that's i don't know maybe that's 2001 mm -hmm. or you know when out the name houses in first stack they have um, um road 452 road mm -hmm. there so i don't know maybe he was talking about the area in first stack because they all grew up in I first stack like or maybe it was 201 where something some shit where something went down happened, and right? yeah. just so but I, no, okay if I, as far as you can remember do, you, uh, do we recollect um um, Two Face actually coming out to uh, spill any secrets whatsoever that has to do with Blackface or the other face. No, mm -mm. no. Exactly. No. So you see, he's being very mature, and I'm thinking, okay, this has gone way on for too long now. You should also show some level of maturity and, and a lot let of it go. Are actually, telling him let it go. Exactly. I feel you should let it go right. because you've tried so hard, you know, to get back into the limelight with your music and with your so-called talent. Did you get back? Did you even listen to the this? I listened to it. What I'm saying that this song. <laughs> Now, make sure it's a banger. Yeah, exactly. And then you're still using the, the old school type of right. um, 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 music. And, like, you see, one of the things that Two Face does is that, you know, he keeps up with the trend. You know, he doesn't, like, use the same old, same old style mm -hmm. that he's used way back. But Blackface, we know him for this particular style. Galala. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I mean, anyway, I, mean, I think I've said enough on this, guys. You guys should say I one think, or two. I, I actually think that he needs help, you know. Mm -hmm. because Mentally, it, yes, psychologically. I feel so. Because okay. I'm always one who wants to see, you know, the other side of things. So I feel like, you know, whatever really happened, it, he's taken it really personally or it, you know, it struck something really deep in mm -hmm. him and he just doesn't know how to let it go. Okay. So maybe All he right. can get some help. And yes. All right. I think that's a fantastic way to end this uh, story. Uh, we'll go on a quick break right now. When we come back, we'll have more entertainment stories for you. Stay here. You're watching Plus TV Africa, and this is Tea Time. I loved the energy when I came in here. It was okay. so positive. I was like, I can't, I can't live here. My real names are Akbobio Kubo, Akbobio Bome Mere. I think my father is a comedian because most times when he calls me, he's like, yo, make sure you use condom, you know, them girls out there. Uh, okay. <laughs> so are you telling me I should have shot my shots? If you have a younger brother. <laughs> Age so is nothing but a number. Here. What? I'm a vampire. I believe in equal rights for okay. women. Mm -hmm. And I also believe that a man is the head of the house. So okay. we need to draw our limits somewhere. I feel so good. I can I do my jam now? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Welcome back. You're still watching Tea Time right here on Plus TV Africa. And we're moving on with our next story. And it's this headline, Guilty as charged Kofi Olumide's verdict on raping a 15-year-old girl. And uh, rather than come to you, Aurel, let me go to Ife. Oh, yes, on. because all stories... <laughs> Come to me. Oh, all right then. Yes, me. all right. Well done. <laughs> oh, I love this. Much. Yes. Because I've been ready for this one. Okay. Okay. Except I don't know the words, the, the correct words to use to describe the fact that I'm actually really pissed. Okay. Because the sentence is suspended. Okay, so you're found guilty of rape. Mm -hmm. You should go to jail. He has End actually been sentenced for yes, two years. Yes, but it's suspended, so he's not going to go to jail, mm -hmm. except if he and commits Jimmy another crime in that time, in, right? In absentia. Yes, he didn't show up. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's, well, it, it happened in France, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah, okay. So it, these are two things here. Yeah. The fact that he's not actually or technically going to jail, the fact that it actually happened in absentia, it's just mind-boggling. You I, know what else? There are other people who have come out with allegations that mm -hmm. other dancers who say he also... Yeah, no, that has been way back. back. I don't know if you remember the story we spoke about mm -hmm. him, uh, 
attacking a photographer yes. and all of that. Mm -hmm. So we know Kofi Olumide has a temper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this yeah, was yeah. a sexual so allegation. Abusive. Yes. Yeah, that came out like since way back. Okay, mm -hmm. let's lump it all but together, together. and ship him off to jail. Is, <laughs> the problem is, <laughs> easy, all of these things right? happened years back. Mm -hmm. Statutes of limitation. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see Do where you understand. Anyway, there are some cases now. These girls are coming out years later to make and maybe after 10 years if you didn't lodge a complaint you can't do it anymore and this girl was probably 15 i don't know how old she is now i was mm -hmm. trying to find that but mm -hmm. i didn't see any i don't know if you guys saw anything mm -hmm. I, I don't know how old the girl is now but she was 15 at that because they kept on saying at that time mm -hmm. without so, any specific yeah, date without yeah. any specific date so i think this could be part of the contributory reasons why it's a um, suspended mm -hmm. sentence, which means it will be under a, a probationary period for a while. Mm -hmm. And then if he gets to commit any crime, no matter how little, even if it's a misdemeanor, if it's mm -hmm. a parking ticket, mm -hmm. then he goes to jail. But um, if I let me understand this, if he commits any, the slightest crime the you say, slightest. yes, well, that would that be here in Africa or in France? <laughs> Oh, Good you don't question. know. That's a tricky one. <laughs> All right, because I, 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 you know, the reason why I asked you is because of That's your legal background. One. So I, want I wasn't. I believe it's going to be in, be France, in France because they are the ones with the jurisdiction. But how are they too. going to monitor him from there, though? Because even for this, they, he, 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 he attended in absentia. Hello. Um, yeah, but right. you know, he, he's a uh, Congolese. And, yes, Congolese. Uh, yeah. They were. Um, what's the word now? They were. Um, when you oh, gain your, oh. your independence. Oh, okay. What's, what's, what's uh, it called? They were colonized, <laughs> right, colonized by, the, by the French. French, French yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. But so at the end of the day, he travels a lot because his music appeals to French people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he travels a lot to France to perform a lot. Oh, he's I even see. based in France. France. Do yeah. you understand? Okay. So okay. he's not so based they can in monitor Congo, him. so they can yeah. monitor him. Mm -hmm. So he goes there a lot for concerts and stuff like that. Okay. But what's so. to say he's going to go back? Like, well. if he's running from them, what's the No, say? but now that he's been suspended, he would want to go back. Yeah, and then if he goes back, it's more money in his pocket. Because the case against the cameraman shows. was in Congo. It wasn't even in France then. So I don't think... Maybe they, they, they may still have some ties. You know, it mm -hmm. could be something that he does in Congo. We don't know. We don't have the full mm -hmm. report of yeah. the sentence. And because it's always a long sh shit. Mm -hmm. Like, you have long to read a lot. Shit. Yeah. I don't so. know. I think that it sends a, a bad, bad message, message. Yes. that yes, you can get away with murder. Come on, we had mm -hmm. the Harvey Weinstein on, and that one went on for Trust a while. Me, I do not and now think... we have R. Kelly, mm -hmm. and that one's dragging on. Mm -hmm. And then now we have this guy, and that like, oh, okay, yeah. And then you we know, have Sharon Ojong as well. Um, Please, let's not even <laughs> go there. Oh. Okay, right. <laughs> yes, <laughs> did he? I, what? You're not going to slow my roll. Yes, <laughs> as I was saying. Exactly. And now we have this guy, and it seems like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, so slap on the wrist, let him go. It sets a bad, bad precedent for anybody else mm -hmm. that if you can just get your victims to keep no, quiet no, for trust me. this period of time, I don't think any you're, judge you're would just be so lenient. lenient they must have taken someone, have, something else yeah, into consideration. There are things they put into consideration why mm -hmm. they feel he should have a suspended sentence. It can't just be because it's Kofi Olomide. Besides, it's not even that famous. Even if it was in his... Um, Kofi or Kofi No, no, no. I'm talking oh, if okay. it was back there. Maybe mm -hmm. we can say, oh, because it's cool. But it's not as relevant as he used yeah, to. But it's like a or not, Do you yes, but relevant or not, yes, but relevant or not, the um, stars still have their profile, and at the end of the day, if he's got a big profile, regardless of how much it was, it's just like Lionel Richie. He doesn't sing anymore, but he's still a star. Yeah. It's not like Blood of Ajasa. He doesn't sing anymore, but he was sick and nobody paid. Yes, but how relevant is he? And what has he done? Oh, 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 yes, you cannot compare. Blood of Ajasa. Oh, no, 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 it's was... not making sense. Can you compare? <laughs> I think Can you come back and then no. we'll come back? I really need to. <laughs> <laughs> can we oh, break, no, seriously. Please? Can you compare the two? Okay. All right. Let's go on that break, that if fair <laughs> once. And then when we come back, hopefully we'll be bringing you uh, another scoop on some other story, or we may just continue. Who knows? Don't go anywhere. You're watching Plus TV Africa, and this is Tea Time. I loved the energy when I came in here. It oh, was okay. so positive. I was like, I can't, I can't live here. My real names are Akbofi Fubo, Akboru Bome Mere. I think my father is a comedian because most times when he calls me, he's like, yo, make sure you use condom, you know, them girls out there. <laughs> okay. So are you telling me I should have shot my shots? 
If uh, you have a younger brother, age is so nothing but a number. Well, I'm a vampire. <laughs> I believe in equal rights for okay. women, mm -hmm. and I also believe that a man is the head of the house, so okay. we need to draw our limits somewhere. Good. Now can I do my jam now? Yeah, yeah. you can. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. You're watching Tea Time right here on PLOS TV Africa. We've been having some interesting stories and right about now we have uh, a, an interesting guest joining us and it's time to introduce that studio guest. Uh, she's got a South African connection. We'll be finding out all about that connection in a little bit and she's really into body positivity, lifestyle, blogging, art and is the founder of the Bosom Movement. She always causes quite a stir with some of her photos online or even on social media and speaking about social media with over 114,000 followers on Instagram and with almost 34,000 followers on Twitter. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the bold, the busty and the brilliant Abby Zeus. Welcome to the show. Yay. Hi. Thank you for having me. Okay, so... Was introduction? It was perfect. Oh, thank you. I wish you. you could say that at my wedding funeral. <laughs> <laughs> It's beautiful. That's oh, beautiful. That's All right, beautiful. so I said something um, about um, the South African connection, you know, because um, I actually went online, you know, to check, you know, what, mm -hmm. what the real deal is. So I wanted you to clarify because on some sites I saw that you were half Nigerian, half South African, and some sites were saying that you are actually resident in South Africa and you're Nigerian, and some said you are actually um, South African but resident here. So I'm like, there's so much conflicting info. Let's hear from the horse's mouth. The confusion came when I actually put a Nigerian flag on my Instagram page. Then okay. people were confused and they just made their own assumptions. Mm -hmm. But the truth is that my father is Nigerian. Sure. Okay. But, okay, thanks for, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for exposing my name. Really? Stealing my spotlight, but it's fine. Oops. But I was born and raised in South Africa. This is my first time coming out to Nigeria to experience everything. So you're so, not yeah. resident here, you're going back no, after I'm some going time. back home. Okay, so welcome to Nigeria. First Thank thoughts you. on Nigeria? Sorry? First thoughts on Nigeria? It's very hot. Okay. <laughs> like I, I meant like the people, the friendly, people are hostile. Very, I've been getting free food. Oh, really? Just for being foreign. I've oh. been getting free food just because people hear my accent. People tell me, welcome, where are you from? Mm -hmm. You know, people are very loving and mm -hmm. they're not judgmental I then I should try okay. that next time I walk into a restaurant I'll be like yo 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 I'm what South African <laughs> <laughs> I just got <laughs> back from the stage okay, yo. guys we haven't got <laughs> enough time we've, we've not got enough time so you guys right, ask so your, your questions um, body positivity <laughs> activist, activist right mm -hmm. so give us five quick tips on, on being body positive to be body positive it's basically all in the mind you can have whatever kind of body but when you feel beautiful in your own body, people will see you as beautiful. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Like 10 years ago, it was bad for girls to be big. Mm -hmm. And everyone wanted to be thin, to be mm -hmm. a runway model. And now everyone wants to be thick. So it really is in the mind. I can't really give five tips, although I have a video on that. Mm -hmm. On YouTube. Mm -hmm. But oh, you I, I, <laughs> yeah, I have a video on that on YouTube where... Uh -huh. You know, I apply my tips. Mm -hmm. Like I talk to myself in the mirror. Mm -hmm. I motivate myself. I write stuff down. I okay. give myself goals. Mm -hmm. Basically. All right. All right. Do you, you have a question? A, sorry, okay. I need a follow up to that. Okay. You made a wild statement in one of your videos. You said people that do not take a lot of pictures do not love how they look. Elaborate on that. I need to understand. <laughs> because there are people that just don't like pictures. And they yeah, I know. But I was speaking um, about people who relate to me. You know what I'm saying? My age group, my generation. If you don't take so you're pictures, to say I'm too old, eh? no, that's not what I'm saying. But if you don't take pictures in today's society, it's mm -hmm. like weird. Like you don't have Instagram, what? You're not on Twitter. You don't take well, selfies. Well, you do realize what? that there's quite a number of people, not Whoa. just in Nigeria, yeah, but, but yeah. the whole world. Yeah. That's and in the they, minority. They range in, no, they range in the millions. You don't know that for a fact that they range in the minority. 
I do, because I yes. do my research. Oh, so what statistics are you giving us? Because you couldn't for a moment remember just the five tips on your hey, video blog. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, she couldn't remember. She just wanted you to go watch it on YouTube. Thank right? you so much. Oh, my goodness. She was strategic. Strategic. I don't know anything about it. Marketing anything. strategy. Seriously. Yeah. Oh, okay. Except that. Except All right. She's selling market. Go to YouTube. Watch the video. See? Okay. So my <laughs> question. Mm -hmm. Yes, you don't remember. I have a more important question. Thank you. Ignore him. <laughs> <laughs> so I know that you, you talked about um, going through a phase and a process before you got to a point where you were comfortable oh my in your gosh, own skin. You guys know me. We do know you. Okay, carry on. Sorry. <laughs> carry on. Um, and you said you struggled for about nine years or something. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask, what was the turning point for you? Like, what was that point where you just went, you know what, this is who I am, this is how I look, and I'm just going to go all the way for it? What was that point? It was when I posted my first topless picture on Instagram, to be honest with you. What inspired you to do that? I, it, it wasn't even an inspiration. I was at a traditional ceremony um, back home, and as Kosa people, we don't cover our breasts when we're oh. dressed in our traditional attire. So I took a picture, had like 200 followers on Instagram, I posted it, it went viral, and like everyone was talking about my boobs, which I hated. So then I was like, what? They love my boobs, you know? Even girls were like, wow. So that's when, yeah. Okay. Uh, so what advice would you give to young women out there who do not understand your body yet? Just love yourself. I know everyone says that, but it's all in the mind, really. You just have to tap into yourself and try and weigh out the parts of yourself that you like more than the parts that you mm -hmm. hate about yourself. Okay, let me quickly ask, you know, so if you didn't have, you know, this size bust, would you still be, you know, um, act an activist for body positivity? Nope. Okay. I won't lie, I'm going to be so honest. I okay. did not care about activism at all. Until before. this whole thing started. Yeah. Because take us back through the experience, because like she said, you know, like 10 years or 9 years ago or some time back, mm. you know, you were criticized or even bullied, I would say, you know, yeah. about the size of your bust. So where did that or how did that affect you mentally and how did you deal with it at the time? I dealt with it by covering up a lot. I used to dress like a boy, like, you know, 50 cent type of vibes, oversized <laughs> clothes, yeah. you know. I, I used to dress like a guy just to cover up so people wouldn't make comments about my boobs. It affected me really badly. Because then, you know, I lost friends. I couldn't go out and mingle with other girls and other people. Yeah. Okay. Um, so All right. would you yeah, say... Um, yeah, just oh, final we, question. Okay. We need to wrap up. So would you say because of your big bosom, you are more prone to sexual harassment? Yes, I am. Have and I experienced ever? that here in Nigeria. A lot. Oh, my goodness. Well, how? Oh, can you share an experience? experience? Yeah. Hi, Bena. Yo, excuse me, my language. At KFC. No, yo, it's fine. At KFC. Augustine, a big breast. <laughs> touch me. me. The touch me. Touch me. Yes. Really? Oh, that is a oh, fair. I almost you? slapped the guy, but my arm was too short, short. so <laughs> I couldn't and get to get the guy's like face. Oh. Dude, who's <laughs> thinking about that at KFC in Nigeria when I'm not even from here? All right, all right, guys. These look so <laughs> okay, scary. interesting okay. and um, an episodes there, and I wish we had more time to delve deep into some other experiences that you've had. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, we're out of time. So that's precisely where we're going to wrap up this afternoon. But we're back though uh, tomorrow with the latest, the hottest, and the juiciest entertainment headlines. Until then, big ups to my colleagues on set, Ore and Ife, the entire production team as well, and of course our studio guest, body positivity activist Abby Zeus. Thank you very much for coming on Yay. the show. Thank All you. right, I'm Tokumi Botai. We're saying thanks for watching and have yourself a lovely evening.